go for it. Look at Ryan. He's going to go for the run out here. Has the opportunity to pick up the first. Gets that one as well and gets back into the bakery. It's Bullet. That is the first one to fall. That's the Yana gone. And Leon Gates has taken a bit of damage himself. It's early doors and early mornings here Check as FaZe suffer that opening blow and a second follow-up. Crying is trying to do the impossible, which is take care of all the players of FaZe. The pre-fire onto Pillars means that they can slip their way in. Cyber's error takes over the top with another body onto the new bout. There is one just on the laundry hatch, but they have a hop down if they need it. Rips. Let's rip. Takes care of Cyber's error on the top one more. They aren't just close to taking the first round that FaZe have There's suffered. no rush for Rogue. After 14 rounds, it seems like FaZe finally starts to bleed here into the server itself. It's Rips that picks up the last kill. It's the Flawless that will hit them to hopefully put down some pressure onto the members of Rogue and the Smoke Grenade. Yeah, well, that will be blocking crying out as Astro gets the first into Prana, but the refrags are starting to come in. Leon gets one, the swing gets punished, Capital dropped on the double window, suddenly a four versus two, one up White stairs and the other on the piano side, a great take, finds Leon on the corner, 15, 15 seconds, seconds the bathroom's go. the next hop and it's a dangerous, the souls go down, it's all Cyber's error left, hits the hop, can't get the lock and Rogue find their second in a the damage that Leon has suffered. It's not great, the positioning that he needs to be in to keep the pressure hot because it doesn't take much. The grenade is the lock off. Cyber Zero does go down. It is technically a three versus oh. two versus two with one still down. Can't quite get the full finish. They swung in to try and get the pick up and it's just going to be a slow creep to a lock off. But look at the two other phase players. They're keeping the pressure down onto the site itself. They're underneath on the corridor, slipping their way through. They are in the train room, putting the pressure on the mantle. Prano goes for the rotate, ignoring the body on the top. Can they lock it off? No clue where they are currently. Bullet and Souls, they have cleared out the uh, train room itself and the plant's about to be coming down. Souls puts down that diffuser. They need to start retaking the site now, but one is hiding in the corner of the train yeah, museum. And Sprano then needs to try and pick up that kill. Flashbangs come out as rips with the very first kill to come through. It's actually, no, it's to confirm. And that means Bullet is going to be able to bring it into a two-on-one situation. Rips needs to find one outside. He needs to find one inside, but neither will happen. It's FaZe that pick up their first round here and bring it up to a two-to-one. With it, however, and the call will be made to, you know what, scrap that. We're going to be opening it up old school style. Just get rid of the anchor points and we move through as Bullet gets two kills to start it off. Yes, the double gets the lockdown. Leon's keeping a firm eye on the artwork that's slowly happening on the bakery wall. But with Cryon suffering too and Prano going down, suddenly Bullet is just absolutely tearing through this back line of Rogue. They have found themselves in a tight fight and there's finally Bullet down and out, locked off with Leon still above. They need to see if they can realign these two remaining players. One remaining player, Cameraman, opened the front door, kicked it down and found a fight. There's a spray round on the back side. They're gonna see if they can get the next, but it's multi-angles. Leon was in a tricky situation and we are back even might not stop the face itself. They have incredible gun skill and they can just force themselves through chokeholds. That's actually a repel in to come through and suddenly they turn it back around. It's a diffuser dropped and it's only up to Cyber and Cameraman now in a two on three situation as Leon is even more aggressive than he was before, hoping to pick up the kill as it gets full flashed. I mean, the leaning on the aggression, crying with one more, doubled up on the staircase. He's taking blood on both. Let it be a slow and steady build. The pre-fires and pops are coming through. Prano's going to be the first to meet it. And it's actually Cyber Zera with a double either side on the split. And suddenly it's turned into a one versus one. A sliver of health either side. The hop onto the white corridor. He takes he the fight. Cyber, Cyber Zera with the triple kill clutch. That's it. Did they have a read that someone was there? Is he going to go for a hop out here that might be able to punish something. He's baiting a game, but Cyber Zera has pushed onto Leon and onto Aces on the top, taking over the site itself. One more for the man who's now on six in a row. And suddenly it's just crying left. This is that phase execute where it goes naught to a hundred in the blink of an eye. They take fights everywhere. And if we open with a flawless from one team, we're not gonna end on it just yet, but it's not looking good. Bodies all over. Zulu is the lockout. Yes, it is a sandwich of Flawless is a 4-2 They're really leaning into this approach. 
They really want to go aggressive here. They want to make sure that that meeting room or meeting desk is, well, not really being uh, effective here for Rogue as that's the first swing. Cyber is going to be able to win that one. Gets right behind the shield back into safety as well as the proximity sensor starts scanning. Knows one was inside but didn't expect Ryan to be in there. Throned! He'll be able to pick up that kill. Is that the rotation that gets caught off? Ooh, Astro, Debian Ode. So close to taking out a teammate there as well. And suddenly it's a four versus right two. angles. It's danger and it's 20 seconds. And I'm assuming that's the sledge quickly rotating around to offer some support. There it is. The wall gets knocked through. They'll do the call. The hop comes on. Prano has dug their way in. Has the diffuser and the chassis in front of them. Astro's going to see if he can reposition. But it's into Aces. He's crossed oh, Aces. by Aces. The double either side of the long wall. Rogue open up their attacks with a preciously needed round for three. It still doesn't quite have the use that it could have been before. A slow creep up white and Souls at least stops the bleeding with a big gun on the far side as Cyber Zera stacks up on the shield. They don't have the swing because of the smoke, but they sure have a read on where they are. Cyber Zera with one. The trade comes through for crying. 30 seconds and a three versus two. They need to check and pick him up right here. Souls gets found as he tries to put himself into a passive angle and it's only up to cameraman now. He's in a one on three situation, 25 seconds left. Of course, has that shotgun, has the SMG. It's a good kit to try and close out this round with. And 18 seconds on the clock, he tries to rotate back up, but the track stingers will catch him off and Rips gets that kill. The gap has been bridged. We're back in on four on four now and Rogue, they're bringing the game to phase here upon themselves. And well, Rogue for sure, seems to be doing that right now. They're bringing the fight here to phase, and if they get this win, oh man, they're looking good for it, as Aces gets a very important entry. Frag grenade there. That is going to be removing Souls from a very important position, and Cyber taking quite a bit of damage himself as well. That grenade must have just rolled onto the front. Astro and Cameraman fight back with the sprays over the smoke. Pick up the diffuser, and it's one more for Cyber Zera, who has been that consistency, biting and battling back bullet with the lockdown on the bar and Cyber Zero shuts the door. They go back into the lead fighting. The last time it all went wrong very quickly after this one. Bullet, however, gets found this time by a triple man peak to come through. A bit of team damage, but that is going to be okay as cameraman, however, finds a response into Aces. Now they utilize the stun to know that a player was down there. There is the take. Leon gets revenge and suddenly it's just Astro left. A three versus one does not go their way and Rogue keep themselves in this game 5-5. Five, five. Nice, they do get a drone inside and figure out where he is. No, instead it's Leon gets a tries to go quick. It's Rogue that goes for another quick push right here like they have done before. It's quick shot gives it away. Nobody entries there. Leon gets in the middle of the site right now. They have the site control. They need to get the echo as well as he goes down. But a plant in the meantime will be attempted. It's a five versus three at this moment in time. He's technically not down and out. The fight goes five versus two. They saw a door and took it. And as they get Leon back up, the plant is going to be stuck this time round. A rotation either side. One on the bottom of the white, one on the bakery with all the pings in the world. The intel comes through. Scratched and dropped crying, but Rips is there for revenge. And Rogue find themselves just 30 seconds away from confirming OT and some points on the board. Oh, the the spray pick up. over the top. They're going for the pickup. Never leave a man behind. Oh. And the air jab comes through. Rogue. 30 seconds. They've really got to start thinking of how they can push themselves into the site. FO12 still in play as well for the Ella. That might be the difference maker here as Rips gets a kill. Cyber, you are the big man now. You need to come in big with the Titan killer, but he fails. It's grind to pick up that kill. The plans will be attempted yet once more. That's the echo that falls. It's cameraman, the last man standing. He is taken out. Rogue defeat phase. And they are the ones to end that reign for now. It was 14 and 0 before this. It's Rogue to take their first full win here. That's three points. That's them in the lead of their group.